bathroom's wide open. Okay, we're gonna make a comment on that. We're on the way to Blue Lot to check out BHS students parking. That's not bad. It's crooked. Girl, that, oh my gosh. Person's a little close to the line right here. We need to scoot it over a little bit. <laughs> How much room is right here? Holy cow. Woo! This is real crooked. Wow, this one's real far out. Well, again, really crooked. Needs to come up a little forward more a little bit, but it's okay. Hello, Brownsburg High School, and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, February 26th. I'm Addie Arnell. And I'm Anaya Crowley, and here's what's going on at BHS. Equality Alliance is a safe space for LGBTQ students to discuss queer issues, topics, and to socialize. Every other week from 3 to 4 p.m. in Mr. Padgett's room, B2403. Their next meeting is tomorrow, Tuesday, February 27th, to learn about black queer history. They will also have a behavioral therapist visiting the club to discuss the importance of mental health. Anyone is welcome, and they look forward to having new members join. If you have any questions, feel free to see Mr. Pageant in B2403. Students, the Brownsburg student job page is live and features job posting from local businesses around the community. If you're looking for a job near or in the Brownsburg area, please be sure to visit brownsburg.k12.in.us slash student dash jobs. A new posting from Indy Parks was just added this week. The VHS show choirs competed at Franklin Central Hoosier Classic on Saturday, going up against several of the nation's top programs. Starlight Voices and Spotlight Singers both placed fourth in their divisions, and Bella Voce was first runner-up in the festival contest. Fiona Curtis was named grand champion of the solo contest, and best performers were Jacob Brewer of Spotlight and Ali Danbaum of Starlight, and Abby Martin of Bella Voce. Starlight and Spotlight will be performing in a free concert tomorrow evening. That's Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come out to see both competition shows and hear all about their successes. The Brownsburg Winter Percussion performed at IPA Plainfield Invitational this past Saturday and received first place in their class. It was their first competition of the season. They will be performing in several more times this spring, including Saturday, March 16th, here at Brownsburg High School. Congrats to the Winter Percussion on a great start to their season. And congratulations to our speech and debate team as they competed up at McCutcheon over the weekend and advanced five Bulldogs to the state in competition on March 9th. Ahan Bajpai placed fifth in humorous interpretation. Jackson Luce placed sixth in original oratory. Yuki Lee placed fourth in original performance. Janaya Lewis placed fourth in poetry. And Lorelai Olis placed third in United States speaking. Be sure to wish these students good luck as they head to state. Help save lives, give blood. Did you know that a single blood donation can save up to three lives? If you're at least 16 years old, please consider donating at school on Thursday, March 21st. Sign up at lunch on Monday, March 4th, and Wednesday, March 6th. Hey, have you seen the robotics team after school? Yeah, they always look super busy. I wonder what they're up to. Well, BHS TV, Rose Kruzan is here for more information on the team. Hey guys, as a member of Team 3176, I wanted to show you a little bit more about what we've been doing to prepare for the season. This year's game is called Crescendo and consists of creating a robot that can do a variety of tasks such as lifting onto a chain, shooting orange tubes called notes into a trap, along with other things. Each year the game is different so these rules are a fun challenge that the team hasn't seen before. This has been a very interesting season for Team 3176. We've had new leadership system, new space, new team members, it's been all very exciting. The main thing we've been doing this season is specifically working on the robot, however there's plenty of other stuff we've been working on, such as social media posts. We've had several essays that we submit for awards to the official organization that runs the competitions for the team. Operating like a small business, the team splits into various sub-teams dedicated to different tasks, such as sponsorships, electrical, programming, design, and more. I really like the robotics team because it's, I mean, it's so close-knit, it's almost like a it's a really, really fun group of people for me to be around, and it's even more fun when we win. So when we go to competition, that's, that's about my favorite place to be. I love being there on the floor doing stuff and hopefully winning the comp. The competitions are always a big deal for us, and I can't wait to share some good memories and hopefully some nice victories with this team. Rose Cruzan, VHS TV. Thanks, Rose. I didn't know they did all that. Yeah, and the competitions seem fun. Good luck out there, guys. Now it's time for sports. Hey Eli, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we're gearing up for our last postseason run of the winter sports season and wrapped up our swimming and diving season over the weekend. Let's get started with the boys swimming and diving teams as they competed at the IHSA state finals over the weekend. 
Overall, the boys placed 22nd in the state finals as they finished in the top half of the competition. Gavin Coggin was the top placer on the weekend for the dogs as he finished in 7th place in the 200 freestyle. He was also a top 10 qualifier in the 500 freestyle as well. Riley Blacious, Isaac Johnson, Ethan Crane, Ethan Hart, Talon Collier, Gavin Barnes, and Parker Huff all competed in the state finals as well. Congrats to our boys swimming and diving team on a great season. Now into basketball as our boys hoops team will start their postseason journey tomorrow night in sectionals. The dogs will take on Plainfield in the first round on Tuesday night. The winner of that game will advance to the semifinals to take on Terre Haute North. On the other side of the bracket, Terre Haute South and will take on Avon in the semifinals. The semifinals are next Friday with the finals on Saturday, and all games are at Terre Haute South this year. The Boys Club Volleyball team will be having open gyms and tryouts coming up over the month of February, and anyone who is interested in joining the team is welcome to attend. All athletes must have a cleared private account to attend. Open gyms will be held at West Middle School, and tryouts will be held on February 26th and 27th at Delaware Trail. And speaking of boys volleyball, they'll be hosting a dine to donate at Books and Brews in Brownsburg on Saturday, March 2nd from 11 a.m. to midnight. 15% of the proceeds on the day will go towards the team. Be sure to tell your server you're there to support BHS Boys Volleyball. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year here at BHS is invited to attend the call-out meeting on Tuesday, March 5th after school in the LGI room from 3 to 4 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Coach McGrath. And good luck to the boys basketball team tomorrow night in the sectionals. And we'll have a recap of the game for you on Wednesday. But that's it for sports today. Back over to you. Thanks, Eli. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.